John's back again with another Rock Riffs lesson teaching you how to play fingerstyle ukulele. Um, here we are with uh, the very famous song uh, Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. Uh, Slash is one of my absolute favourite guitarists in the world. I absolutely loved uh, uh, Guns N' Roses when they first started back in the late 1980s. So what we're going to be learning with this particular tune, and just the opening riff, um, is to be working more on our two finger uh, picking technique. Um, it's a great exercise to do, so stay with me and I'm going to show you how to play it. So it's a pretty easy tune. You, uh, you could even call it a folk song, uh, if you like, the way it's been written. It's in the Mixolydian mode, uh, at least the verses, as far as I can tell. Um, so I'm starting with the, with the chord C. Um, the original key is, uh, is D Mixolydian. Okay, so if, if for any reason you do want to play along with the, the original record uh, for, for the riff that I'm teaching you now, um, it's quite simple. All you need to do is, is put a capo uh, on the second fret, uh, or even tune up to detuning, um, which, uh, which I really like. In fact, so detuning on the ukulele gives it a wonderful kind of pingy sound um, that, that just sounds fabulous. So you could try that as well. Um, but don't forget in this particular ukulele, but don't forget in our ukulele series that uh, we're not trying to play the songs as they were written. What we're doing is we're learning uh, fingerstyle ukulele uh, with uh, some examples of the riffs. So that's really not a priority for me. Uh, C mix Lydian then is actually the key of F, but starting and finishing on C. So the chords to the chords that you could accompany the main riff to would be C, B flat, and F. And the, the main verse is exactly the same. C, B flat to F and back to C. And this is how we're going to play the riff. Okay, I'm just going to turn a little bit so you can see my, uh, my picking hand. It looks like this. Now what I have then is I'm leading off with the note uh, C open on the third fret, fret uh, third string, open, and then I'm playing C an octave higher on the second string, uh, the eighth fret of the second string, okay, and then G open on the fourth string, F first finger on the note F, which is uh, the fifth fret of the, the third string, and then uh, moving my little finger from the C uh, up to the note F. Okay, so another octave jump, eighth fret of the first string, and then we're going to alternate from the F to the G, and then to E. Okay, on the seventh fret of the first string, and do that twice. So C, C, G, F, F, G, E, and G again. Okay, now watch what I'm doing with my picking hand. Okay, for me it's my right hand. I'm starting with my index finger, okay? So up with my index finger. And then I'm going to do an alternating technique again with my fingers, walking my fingers, okay? So index, middle, thumb, index, middle, thumb, index, okay? And I'd practice doing that a few times before we change. Now what happens in this particular riff, it's quite a simple riff in fact, is we're going to just move down from the C, we're going to move up, sorry, up not down, up to the note D, and we're going to play the, the C again, but this time because we're in the first position, back in the first position to play the note D, I'm going to play the C here on the third fret of the first string, 
and jump up back to where I was to the F okay so we start with the note the low note C do that twice and then do the same back up exactly the same okay now I messed that up because I didn't get my fingers in the right place so can you see what I'm doing with my my fretting hands then When I've played with my little finger, the note F, and down to the, the note uh, E, okay, and I do that twice, I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna keep my fingers on the fretboard, slide them down, bring them together, okay? So now I've got first and third, D and C, and then slide them back up again and spread them out so they're two frets apart. And drop my little finger on the note C, Okay, so what that means is that my uh, my middle my uh, third finger is uh, is ready to go, I'm not moving it off the fretboard while I play that. Let's just move around this way, so you can see perhaps a little bit better. There, I've dropped my middle finger on, bring it down, move it, slide it up. And when I've done that, so C to D, and then I'm moving up to F, and F is already there, it's already in place. So F, C, G, F, G, okay. And back to the start. And play that four times. to the D, back up, and now F, and start again. Okay, now the main riff he plays it twice, so that's 16 bars in total. And the second time to finish then, when he gets to the F, what he did before, first time, and then the second time, And he goes down to, to the note uh, D, alternating with the G string, to C, to E, to F, to E, to D, to C again. So it sounds like this. And that's all there is to it. So let's just play through it again. Drop down to D, back up, down to D, back up, F, back to C. That's the end, start again. Drop down to D, back up, up, F, and finish. And that's how to play the main riff to Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please uh, press the like button, give me a thumbs up, and uh, think about subscribing. If you want to stay in touch with me and uh, uh, find out what's going on, uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next lesson very soon.